Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Southern Woods and Waters. I hope you're all having a great evening inside in some air conditioning, because I know this afternoon, I believe it's about 110 degrees, it felt like, guys. It has been rough. But tonight's show is all about that hot weather, and what we're going to be talking about is fishing the ledges out in the summertime temperatures. And we're joined by a guy tonight that's going to really be teaching us a lot about it. Really been looking forward to this show. But we'll go ahead and back out now. Dayton and I have got our buddy John Hopkins here with us tonight. And John, you and Dayton went out and somehow or another, I, I've tried this many times, but somehow you got him to run a camera. That ain't fair. And you went fishing. Now how <laughs> you pulled it, I don't, I couldn't believe it, it until I looked at it myself. It ain't It's Richard's fault. <laughs> <laughs> he kept saying it's Rich Richard's fault. I need to meet Richard because yeah, he needs to get in yeah. on this more often. It's, it's right. Richard's fault because Dayton actually run the camera. Now he was back there fishing. You're going to hear him casting in the background and you even caught one, but one. you did run the video yeah but <laughs> nonetheless right. guys tonight's gonna be all about ledges it, it gets hot right now uh, fish are out here and they're sitting on ledges and you're finding them schooling up and tonight in particular we're gonna be talking crankbaits uh, a few other baits but mainly crankbaits so let's head on over we're gonna go to Old Hickory Lake start out the first segment tonight fishing on the ledges about the middle of June uh, but yeah, I'm switching up to start ledge fishing um, just kind of put some baits on where we can go scope some fish and uh, find a scoot or two and, then, and dig them out um, right now I think of, there's several schools that I've found so far but they're just now getting out there it's, uh, it's been a hot week uh, there were several on creek drops in the last few weeks, but uh, tournaments have been, been being one shallow. I think with the 100 degree weather that we're experiencing right now, we uh, will be able to catch them today. Uh -huh. John, what kind of line you throw on your crankbait? I throw fluorocarbon. I mean, switched to fluorocarbon several years ago simply because it sinks and the baits will go deeper. And you can use a little heavier line. Where I'd use eight and ten pound P line. Um, I got a problem. When I'd use eight and ten pound P line, they uh, now you can use twelve pound four card. He said, get the net. What you got there, John boy? I don't know. Nice little fish. Out here in Minners, was out here in bait, John? Yeah, he was. Out here chasing this bait. On no crank bait. Fish on. See if we can hang on to this one. Another good little fish. Over here in July, the middle of July. Crankbait time. Crankbait time. Out here on the ledges, drops, creek channel drops. What 
Well, I just about fell in the lake. Fish on. Fish on. Now, John, we were talking about earlier how we were talking about earlier how those how this heat pushes these fish out. Uh, what do you think the water temp needs to get or the weather needs to do to push them out here? On Old Hickory, it's so different because the lakes above it put cold water into the lake all year, so it's later in the year. That was on Kentucky Lake in the past. The days of caught the change up a little bit. If I was on Kentucky Lake, it was 73 degrees. Uh, but here, uh, I really think it's 78 to 82. Uh, I think that's why it gets better in July than it is in June. A lot of times um, on a big pond. Right, you know, there's a good one. A lot of times on a big pond, we'll catch... Uh, Hang on to him, son. Here he comes. May. We'll catch him in May. Stacked up. Right. Catch him cranking and... and a lot of these fish are just on the bed, and, uh, right? You know, and there is a pile of them down there. This bait had scales all over the hook. Right. right. And you're the first one out here, and I think it's probably a pretty fresh school of fish. Fish on. Is that a good one? Just consistent. They're out here in schools, just out here on these river channel drops, creek channel drops, like we said. Still think they like that blue one a little better today. Yep. Seem like they Color matters. Getting it close to their mouth. Color matters. Easy. Other guys on top of that. John, what about current in this hot weather? You know, the energy everybody's using, you're well aware of what goes on at our area lakes, so what do you think about that? Well, current's always a benefit. Unfortunately, right now, we don't have any of it. As you can see, this algae bloom sitting, just sitting here dead on top of the water. Probably a big reason why they're not hitting this moving bait. If I could ever get one to react to it, uh, I could probably catch them on it, but uh, probably gonna have to throw something a little slower try to get them to uh, fire. We got us an algae bloom going on. This lake is just green as can be. I'll get another angle in a minute, but I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's a full algae bloom going on over here. Literally switch back to that color yep. and lost the fish. I, I, they're just not getting that color as well as they get the chartreuse and blue one today. And, and some days, that's the exact opposite. Two hours from now, that may be, that may change. And I don't know if it's as much the chartreuse or the blue back or what it is. There he is, though. You got him. And he's a good one. Is he in the bush? No, he's a big one. All right, let me get this back up. I'll leave mine out there. This might be a catfish or something. Uh, no telling right here. My line's in the way. Holy cow. Big, a big old large mouth. Big old toe. You may get the net? Nah, Are you, you going to get it? Look at you. Did you change colors again? Yep, I went back to that blue. Big old toe. There we go. That's what Color you... Change. That's what you catch at Old Hickory Lake, out here on the ledges and the drops. And they pay off. That's what it's about. Cranking in the summertime. Good fish. Very nice one.
All right, it's Richard's fault. I ain't caught one. I gotta run that camera. I got one in. Oh, boy. Okay. Very big, out here feeding on the minnows, cranking. I had a Are these reaction bites or feeding bites? Ah, uh, well, can be both. Uh, it is a reaction bite sometimes to get the get a school started. Hey, yeah. The fish get thirsty. Dayton Blair, you are not like other children. I'm just asking you, do fish get thirsty? Don't ask me dumb questions. All right. Well, <laughs> everybody's wanting to know the answer to that. All right, guys, it's time for this week's Wild Game Forecast. It's being sponsored by our friends over at Wilson Bank and Trust. You guys can find them at one of 29 Middle Tennessee locations. Stop in there. Let them take care of all your banking and financial needs. And be sure to tell them thank you for all they do for us here at the show. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, as you know, it's plenty hot outside right now, guys. <laughs> it is warm, warm. Absolutely. Uh, but you know there's fish being caught, uh, mainly deeper water. Uh, John, what kind of depths are, are you looking for bass in right now in particular this time of year? Well, I'm kind of looking for them in the same areas that we were fishing on this video, about 12 to, to 14 feet, um, sometimes a little bit deeper than that, but mostly in that in that area. Right now, those schools that we were catching at that time are starting to break up. So uh, um, you, instead of seeing 20 or 30 like we were seeing, we, you'd see three or four yeah. right now. So you're having to pick them apart with a spinnerbait or a, or a football jig or a shaky head for that matter. Yeah. Uh, but still fishing ledges uh, okay. in the same, same fashion. Um, a lot of grass in Old Hickory right now, so that, that's also a player. Yeah. Uh, uh, which. Uh, in any given day, hot, hot or cold, the grass, the grass is always a player. It is, and even in this hot weather, Dayton, late evening, early morning, right now, still probably your best times. But uh, Old Hickory Lake's known to get a noon bite, one o'clock bite. You're guaranteed. If you're willing to I stand mean, out there, you're going to hang. Well, <laughs> as hot as it is, I mean, it's tough, but keep hydrated. You know, drink some good fluids and stuff. But they're biting, man. You just got to get out there. They are. They Wear your sun they stuff. Feel 15 feet Wear down. your long sleeves and your facial covers, and your man, sunscreen. and your sunscreen, because it's really hot out there. <laughs> well, guys, we want to remind y'all, follow us on Facebook, keep up with us there. You can also share your own stories with us as well. We'll be right back here in just a minute with some more Southern Woods Waters.